I think the distinctions are very clear, and you guys want to create a narrative that just doesn't exist. First of all, I think if anything has been inflamed, uh, it's the dishonesty that often takes place by the news media. Wow. Well, those were a few highlights from a day in the life of White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who has the toughest job in Washington, probably America. Now, earlier today, she was joined at the podium by White House Senior Policy Advisor Stephen Miller. He faced off against fake news as CNN's Jim Acosta over President Trump's merit-based immigration reform proposal. This is awesome. Watch this. Jim, I appreciate your speech, so let's, let's talk about this. It was a, it was a modest Jim, let's talk about this. In 1970, when we let in 300,000 people a year, was that violating or not violating the Statue of Liberty law of the land? In, 19, in the 1990s, when it was half a million a year, was it violating or not violating the Statue of Liberty law of the land? Tell me what years, tell me what years, tell me what years, meet, tell me what years meet Jim Acosta's definition of the Statue of Liberty poem, Law of the Land. Do you really at CNN not know the difference between green card policy and illegal immigration? Sir, are, I mean, are you really don't know that. I am shocked at your statement that you think that only people from Great Britain and Australia would know English. It's actually, it reveals your cosmopolitan uh, bias to a shocking degree. So you're trying to engineer the I racial and say, ethnic flow of people into this country. Jim, this that policy. is one of the most outrageous, insulting, ignorant, and foolish things you've ever said. Wow, finally fighting back. So what's it like to take on members of an abusively biased press, fake news every single day? Earlier tonight we spoke with House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Sarah, great to see you. Um, I really do believe and I, I, we do, a, I think, a pretty good job of calling out the lies, misinformation, lack of priorities, absolute bias and ideology of the media. You're with them every single day. I don't know how you do this job, but you got to help us out. <laughs> Uh, look, you think I have one of the toughest jobs in America. I think I also have one of the most fun jobs in America. I get to work for the President of the United States. He's had an incredible first six months in office. He's going to have an incredible seven and a half years. And it's an honor and a privilege to get to come out and share his message with the American people every day. And I'm excited to be here and be part of his team. You know, I want to ask you this, because lately the White House, yourself, Stephen Miller, Sebastian Gorka, Kellyanne Conway, you guys have seemed more willing now to go out there and say, okay, we're going to start calling you out on the air to your face. Now, I doubt CNN's going to run that exchange with Stephen Miller today. Or, or for the fact uh, that. They may, they may run an edited version, but my guess is it isn't the one where uh, Stephen Miller puts him in his place. He really does. <laughs> At any point, do you get frustrated? Do you, I, I know myself, and um, I've been doing talk radio for 30 years, and there are times some people are trying to get under your skin. I've kind of got built up immunities. Do you ever find yourself getting frustrated up there? Uh, every once in a while, of course, there's a, a certain level of frustration. Look, I know that American people, they did a poll not too long ago. They care about health care. They care about jobs. They care about the economy. They care about immigration. They don't care about Russia. They don't care about who has a job in the White House. They care about who has a job at their house. Those are the issues they'd like for us to be able to talk about. Unfortunately, we have a room full of people that refuses to ask questions that America cares about. It's more about uh, TV star moments, more about sound bites for the evening news. And uh, I Clicks. think that's a sad disservice that some in the media are doing for the American people. But hopefully uh, we get to come out, be on shows like yours, and we get to respond. And I think that's one of the reasons you've seen us uh, sometimes fight back a little bit stronger, because it's important for us to get the message out there, but it's also important for us to push back on some of the ridiculous bias that we get from the media. It seems